Welcome back to another video on the Nortex Mining YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing transmit scale at a high level. I know this is a very complex topic here, so I'm going to try and keep it high level. I don't want to get too deep into the weeds on anything just quite yet. Um, there's going to be some additional videos coming out explaining proof of coverage, again, at a high level. Um, want to be able to explain it clearly enough and easily enough so that uh, a lot of people are able to quickly understand it, uh, at least the basics of it. And then if they want to get into the hairier details, they absolutely can. So, um, so a lot of people ask this question of how can I improve my transmit scale? Um, and so when you're, when you're in the Helium Explorer, do yourself a favor right away and come into this right corner here. Everything's going to look like this at the default. But definitely click on this Layers icon here and go to Transmit Scales. Okay, so this is just a random example in Houston, but you can kind of see here, it looks like there's a lot of orange kind of in this blob. Outside of there, it kind of looks a lot more green. Over here, it's kind of like a lime green color. So transmit scales play a factor in your earnings. A lot of people will tell you transmit scale doesn't affect your earnings. It does. To what degree it affects your earnings might be relatively small compared to what you make witnessing other beacons. But if you go beacon for beacon, and again, HNT, the pie is dwindling. You want every fraction of HNT that you can get. So you don't want a low transmit scale. You want a 1.0. Um, and where did transmit scales come from? Or how did this enter the network? To be able to understand that first, you have to understand HIP-17. Now, again, I'm not going to go through all this detail, but basically it is incentivizing spreading of the network geographically, right? There's no advantage to having 20 hotspots in each of these hexes when one can do the job. So there is a, a sort of scaling mechanism uh, you know, transmit scale, scaling mechanism, uh, to kind of dissuade people from doing something like this and putting all the miners in one area and kind of encouraging this kind of spread network. And so basically, there, there's these links will be in the description below. But basically, what you need to understand is there are hexagons of varying resolutions so there's a res 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, what you see on the Explorer screen. This is a, these are all resolution 8 hexes. So for a resolution 8 hex, uh, the target density is 1 and the max is 4. Once you go over that, you start to get scaled. Okay, so there are target densities and there are maximum densities. Um, these numbers here correspond to the number of siblings that have to meet the target density in order for the target to get raised into uh, the next bracket. Now, that was a lot, right? <laughs> that was kind of confusing. Um, but basically, what you need to know is each hex has a limit. If you go over the limit, you're going to get scaled. How do you fix that? You either surround that area with more miners in the siblings, or you move your miner. So let's go ahead and take a, a look at a few examples here, right? So this Houston area, this area is getting scaled quite a bit, right? This random example is at 0.45. This is very helpful. This was not available back uh, when I was first starting out. So let's just go ahead and hit suboptimal transmit scale, learn more. It takes you to the hotspotty application to the specific hotspot that you were just on, and it takes you to the reward scaling tab. Now, it might take a little bit to load, 
but uh, depending on your area, we just clicked on Houston, Texas again. I mean, if you're in one of the top 20 uh, population centers in the United States, you're likely to run into this problem because you're just absolutely oversaturated in pretty much all of those cities. And this application is going to take a bit because it's got to load uh, the area. There it goes. Um, and it's got to load all the hotspots in that area to be able to, to run this reward scaling numbers. Um, but basically, yeah, I mean, if you're in a top 20 metroplex in the United States, maybe even top 30 at this point, you're going to be getting scaled. There's too many people, too many miners in the same hexagon, right? Okay, so once we zoom out a little bit, we can kind of see here, okay, this broad orange area is the hexagon that just has too many people in it. Okay, so you scroll down here, and we see here, okay, it's the resolution for hex that has 980 too many hotspots in there. Okay, so you click in here, and it can show you potential solutions. So people often fall into one of two categories. This is going to be the first one. There's just way too many people in the same hexagon. Again, there's different resolutions of hexagons. This is one of the biggest ones, or yeah, the biggest one, a resolution four. And so even in a big area, there can still be too many hotspots. So what do you do? The limit is already at 800, which as we saw in HIP 17 is the max for resolution four. So you scroll down here and there are no other strategies other than to move hotspots, right? I mean, there's just, there's no other way to do it. You've already got to the max limit for resolution four hex and there's still 980 too many. There's 1,700 miners, almost 1,800 miners in this hexagon. Okay, so the solution here is to start calling up your friends in, you know, some of these other smaller towns um, and saying, hey, do you think I can move my hotspot over to where you're at? Um, you know, maybe, you know, some people in Tomball, maybe, maybe, uh, Prairie View, um, Stagecoach, somewhere else, uh, you know, further out, Montgomery, Magnolia, some, somewhere else, because this resolution for hex is way, way, way too full. Okay, so let's go to our next example. What do we got here? Um, yeah, and so... It doesn't even necessarily have to be a major downtown area either. You can still be sort of what you would think on the outskirts, but you're still getting scaled. Uh, strong Cotton Mule. I preloaded this in advance, so you guys don't have to wait through that loading screen again. Um, but this one is getting scaled for three reasons here. Look at this. The Resolution 4 Hex has 143 too many. The res 7 has one too many, and the res 8 has one too many. So if you do 0.75 times 0.83 times 0.84, that's what gets you the 0.52. So every time you beacon, you're only getting 0.52 of the rewards for that beacon as opposed to someone who has a 1.0 transmit scale. Again, you only may you may only beacon once per day, and you're only getting half of the full rewards for that. Um, so it doesn't make or break all of your earnings, but it still does play a role. And again, with the pie dwindling, you want as many fractions of HNT as you can get your hands on every month, right? So this hotspotty tool is fantastic, right? You see this green area, this larger green area with these borders, uh, that's going to be your resolution for, uh, hang on, is that your resolution for hex? Yeah, that's going to be your resolution for hex that's got too many. Um, 
this smaller one here is your resolution 7 and then this smaller hex here is your resolution 8 that's got one too many so you can kind of see here in this area too many miners in this area there's too many miners so again what you can do in here is you can click on in to one of these resolutions and it will populate its siblings for you here which are the neighboring hexes to yours and it'll give you suggested strategies to optimize the transmit scale so you can see here uh, neighbor E or sorry here neighbor C only needs to add one to reach the target density so I mean you could start asking around your neighbors here hey can you host this hotspot for me um, or wait for someone to come online in this hexagon I mean there there so those are a couple things you can do at the res 7 level um, it's still kind of too big for you to reassert your location um, into the next hex I mean un unless you were like right on the edge here um, you know like this guy he can probably move to any one of these three um, this guy might be able to move down the block over here um, the recommended range for uh, safe safely reasserting your antennas location is about 100 to 150 meters um, anything past that you risk going into spoofing your location territory which again frowned upon and and could end you uh, end up with you on the deny list so you don't want that you want to play within the rules play within the boundaries and you know ultimately for a better network that that's what you want to do right okay so last example uh, and the second scenario is where there's just a few hotspots too close to each other, um, like Fresh Fuzzy Jaguar. Again, it's getting transmit scaled down to 0.42. Uh, so you go, uh, again, and how to get from here to here quickly is this suboptimal transmit scale. You hit Improve. It takes you to Hotspotty. You go to the Reward Scaling tab and you're able to see okay so this one it's still going to be at 0.84 because the resolution 4 hex just has too many but for the resolution 9 that's a very small resolution hex so you click on that and you see okay where can i potentially move it and so yeah i mean this this is a simple uh a fix here right you can reassert your location if this is you is that jaguar i think yeah the green is jaguar so all this person has to do is um so and and by reasserting location what i mean is going on the app uh clicking on your hotspot uh clicking the edit or, or the settings button and edit location and this is going to cost you some HNT, um, but all they have to do is reassert from there to here, um, and they will jump up in transmit scale back up to uh, the 0.84. So this is a simple fix here that you can just move your hotspot. Um, this is probably, I don't know, 25 meters maybe, if that. Um, but these are simple fixes that you can do to, to keep your transmit scale up and, you know, properly spread around the um, asserted locations of the antennas. I mean, you're definitely still going to be providing coverage for all this area uh, anyway, so uh, you might as well have the best transmit scale up while you do it. So um, those are the two scenarios that most people fall into again either one it's there's just way too many people in, in the area uh, this one is kind of a hybrid uh, of both you know they're kind of caught in this bigger swath where there's still too many people and then um, also uh, you know at a couple different resolutions there's just too many people and too concentrated of an area so you need to spread out a little bit more or finally, uh, 
you know, there's just a few hot spots just too close to each other. In this case, there's two too close to each other. Uh, and so you need to spread those out a little bit more. Uh, some common myths I see also all the time are, oh, if I get a higher gain antenna and I, you know, reassert this antenna gain value to a higher DBI level, then that means my transmit scale is going to go up. That's not true. Transmit scale, again, has you read the hips, it has nothing to do with antenna gain. Um, the other one that comes up all the time, too, is, oh, if I move my antenna up into the attic or up on my roof, that's going to fix my transmit scale, right? No. Also false. Um, transmit scale, again, has to do with the concentration of miners in a given geographic area. These geographic areas are uh, divided up as hexagons and of different resolutions, so um, you can kind of see how close um, the satur or where the saturations occur, and you don't want that when you're trying to create a ubiquitous network that provides the most coverage for the most utility uh, in Internet of Things applications. So uh, hopefully this helped you understand transmit scale a little bit better. Um, there's some other resources that I can point you to as well if this was still not clear. Um, if you have a question, definitely leave it in the comment box below. Uh, and I will try my best to answer all the questions for you guys. All right. If you got some value from this video, definitely hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more Helium content coming on uh, our channel. Hit the like button if, you know, this was an easy way to uh, understand these things and visualize them. And if there was anything I could have done better, let me know in the comment box. We'll see you guys in the next one.